Uh, hey everybody, David Jordan. Uh, welcome back. It's the uh, 2015 Blade Show in Atlanta, and I'm here with Joe Watson. And uh, Joe is a knife maker, and uh, uh, I'm excited for you to see some of his stuff. He's agreed to talk to us and kind of show, the, show us some of the product line. Uh, Joe, uh, tell us a little bit about you first. All right, I'm Joe Watson with Watson Knives. Uh, pedigree as far as our stuff, uh, former Army, started out as rifleman machine gunner, um, graduated up and went on to surveillance, recon, and sniper units. Um, have a long history with combatives as well, and what I started looking at was tools that would integrate into the training we had and the needs that were coming up based on our assignments. So our, our primary goal is small fixed blades for concealed carry and beauty use. Uh, we do prefer fixed blades to folders. Uh, we all like folders, love using them for utility, but for speed of access, simplicity, long-term reliability, uh, fixed blades is phenomenal for that. So what I like to do is get out folks that are well-respected in the training industry and guys that are still uh, doing the job in the law enforcement and military side, get out and collaborate with those guys and develop things that'll help. All right, good. Uh, I've seen some of his stuff, man. It is, it is awesome. I'm glad uh, you get to see it, too. Uh, how long have you been making knives? been making knives on and off since I was about 16. Uh -huh. uh, full-time now for about three years. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you regret going full-time? Uh, no, I'm enjoying it a lot right now. Uh, funny thing is, some of the contacts we make and the people I still continue to work with are guys that you know come from the same uh, former place that I used to work and of course on the LE side as well, so I, I love it. Very cool, very cool. Uh, is this your first blade show? This or? is my first blade show. Finally made it here every other year. I was working somewhere else doing other things, but right. finally got here. It's been fantastic. Good, good. I, 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 uh, hopefully you'll be back next year and we'll get to talk to you again. Absolutely. Um, all right, so uh, uh, my guys don't want to hear me talk anymore. They want to uh, see what you got. So uh, Joe, show us, show us your stuff, man. All right, something we have new for 2015 is a collaboration with Craig Douglas of Shivworks. Uh, he's a renowned trainer, does a fantastic job with reality-based training. Um, we decided to pair up and come up with a push dagger. Um, we're running an asymmetrical handle here, and what that gives us is a, a solid, solid grip against a lot of the rotation and yaw that kind of happens with the standard symmetrical handle push dagger. It supports your palm well, it doesn't roll a lot, um, easy to access and conceal. When you have this thing in your waistband, all you're looking at is the handle running up. And yeah, you, you would as, hardly even notice that. As far as in use, um, even if you don't have a lot of training with a blade, if you pick up a little bit of boxing training or, or anything like that, you, you can make this thing work well for you and be effective. So right now we're running CPM 154 steel and sculpted G10 handle. Our uh, sheath setup will accept most of the industry standard attachments out there. So the blade tech stuff, tech locks, uh, molly locks, inside the waistband clips, uh, whatever you need it to attach to, this can adapt to it. Very cool. Uh, next thing we have new for 2015 is uh, another collaboration with Daryl Bolke from Hardwired Tactical Shooting is our Hits Karambit. This thing is finally here. Folks that have been following us and know this is about two years in the making. Everybody's been asking about it and it's finally here. Uh, this has a heavy Tarani influence in it uh, because of Daryl's long relationship with him. We were to pick up a lot of good feedback on the design and we're quite happy with the end result. Uh, even with this karambit, if you're not well trained on the karambit, we're running such an aggressive blade angle here that essentially, if you know how to punch with this thing, you can be effective. Once you get more training, you can do some great things with it. We have one version with our teeth on the back, was excellent for trapping and controlling limbs. These work well on skin and clothing. Uh, those those teeth on the back, I want you to notice the, uh, the, the thickness of those. Um, Compared to like my finger, those, those are thick, meaty, you know, like th this thing is solid. 
good, good fighting knife. For people that do not like the function of the teeth or are afraid of uh, snagging and simply don't want to deal with it, we do a version without as well. It's very, very slick and trim. Also, later on down the road, we'll have these in a cord wrapped version as well for those who want to shed a little bit of weight and have something a little bit thinner for concealed carry. Same modular sheath set up. We're shipping these standard with Spyderco G clips right now. This works great for inside the waistband or outside the waistband carry. So, uh, you were asking me earlier about something that might be one of my favorites. Yeah, uh, yeah. For me right now, that's probably our Magni fixed blade design. This is a little less than three and a half inch blade, uh, less than eight inch overall. This is my go-to for everyday carry for utility, for self-defense blade, medical management, primitive survival tasks. Uh, I tried to make this blade good for as much as possible. I want, I want you to be able to see the blade as well. Like, I, man, I just like that. Uh, if you can see the, the texturing, what do, what do you call that? That's an acid etched finish. Uh, I really like that. Uh, the handle, what, what is that made from? That handle is carbon fiber. Uh, G10 is standard on these. All right. Yeah, I, you know, I think it's, it's important that you know, I, I have uh, very little knowledge about about knives, and you know, somebody taught me uh, years ago. If you want to know, uh, you know, like when you go to get your hair done, um, you ask the, the barber that you like. You know, if you like their hair, you say, "Where do you get your hair done?" So I always like to ask the knife maker. Uh, you know, like what what knife do you want? What what knife do, would you carry? And uh, so uh, I, I think that's important. Um, you make the sheath also on that? This sheath is also another uh, collaboration we started this year with uh, tracker Dan Stanchfield. Dan's a uh, West Coast Navy SEAL. Um, fantastic mind as far as coming up with new concepts, blade carry systems design. I think he has a, a lot of great ideas in the sheath, so we were able to collaborate with him on that, and we offer them for most of our knives now. Uh, like, like real simple design, uh, no, no frills, solid as anything. Um, I, I really like how that, that is not flimsy uh, like a lot of sheaths are. It is as solid as the knife is. Uh, talk a little bit about that clip. Sure. Some of the features I like about this sheath uh, is one, the, the clip's been very popular. What we have here is an underhook on this clip and very strong clip, excellent retention. Whatever you put it on, it's gonna stay. What this underhook gives us is the ability to not use a belt if we don't want to. You could clip this on, cloth on your plate carrier, on your gym shorts, on your watch band if you wanted to, and when you draw this blade, the sheath will stay put every time. Also, there's mm -hmm. clearance underneath the clip, so if you're running maybe dress attire or want deeper concealment, you can tuck your shirt in behind this and have nothing but a portion of the clip exposed. Uh, I really like that. Uh, the, the clip part he's talking about is back here. Uh, you can see it, you see, right? Right about where my finger is. Uh, the part that actually hooks up under there. And a lot of clips, you want to look for that when, you, when you're using anything with the clip. Uh, because if it doesn't have some kind of way to really hold on to the belt or the the, the gear or, or the pants, uh, it's going to come out when you when you draw the weapon uh, or the knife or whatever uh, whatever you're drawing with it. Uh, it's going to the, the sheath is going to come out too, or the holster is going to come out. So. Uh, like if you're going to get a clip, make sure it's got that kind of clip on it. And you call it what kind of clip? Uh, the clip and sheath are both by Tracker Dan. Okay, all right. Uh, very nice stuff, man. Uh, I love that knife. What, what kind of, what would you call that knife if you wanted to order? This model is called the Magni. The Magni? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, very so, cool. I guess the last thing I want to run by on the sheath, a lot of people notice this this large mouth here on the end. Um, what that's for, Dan ran into a lot of situations in, in training and doing the primitive survival he has where he wants to be able to sheath the blade easily with one hand. And sometimes this might be in complete darkness where you can't turn on your light for obvious reasons. Sure, sure. Um, or we're in night vision where your vision's blocked up close anyway. So with this, if you can find the clip, you just bring the blade up, the tip drops in, you're able to sheath with one hand on the fly. It's super easy. Wow. Uh, I do like that idea. That, that, um, that's great. Uh, anything else? Uh, 
Yeah. Anything you want to show us today? Oh, that's about it. I appreciate your time and stopping by and for doing the video with us. It's been fantastic. I appreciate right. it. No problem at all. Uh, Joe, uh, if people want to reach out to you, where, where would they find you? Sure. Uh, our website is JW knives.ticktail.com we're also on instagram which is just joe watson knives all one word all right thank you uh joe thank you again uh, thank you doing, I, I really appreciate, I appreciate that it. it's good quality stuff um i, I can't say enough about it uh you know you, you make an investment like like for example what the, the knife that we talked about here what, what, what are we right what are we talking about roughly our base model with the duty knife finish would be uh 275 with the tracker dan sheath okay so so with, with, with that solid sheath and, and everything we're talking about like three three hundred dollars you would have to lose it because you're not gonna like 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 you're not gonna you're gonna your grandkids are gonna have that and their grandkids. So you get two things uh, that I like. Um, you get a good quality working knife or a fighting knife or whatever it is you're buying a knife for, and you've also got something that uh, that you'll have uh, uh, yourself and in your you know your family for years. Your son or daughter might uh, might want the knife that that you carry. And, uh, and and this will be a good night for them. All these knives are solid and squared away. Joe, again, thank you. Thank you. Guys, I'm glad, uh, glad that you watched the video. Thank you for watching. And I hope this helps. And I'll see you again next time.